Office 365 users now have access to a free Visio Data Visualizer add-in inside of Excel, which enables you to create flowcharts and organization charts. And because they're linked to cells in the worksheet, you simply refresh the connection and the diagrams update. You can download the Visio Data Visualizer via the Insert tab and then Get Add-ins. In the search box, type in Data Visualizer. You can see it's currently in preview, which means it will continue to be developed over the coming months, but you can do a lot with it already. So click Add and it'll be added to your add-ins. To insert a flow or org chart, first select an empty cell in your worksheet. This is where some sample data will be placed, and the sample data allows you to see the layout required for your linked data. And when you're ready, go back to the Insert tab and then My Add-ins. Here you'll find it in your list. Click on it and click Add. The add-in will ask you to log into your Office 365 account. Yes, even if you're already logged in inside of Excel. Now signing in unlocks capabilities in Visio for the web like printing, sharing and viewing in the browser. If you're signed in, the diagram is saved as a Visio file in your OneDrive or SharePoint location. And if you're not signed in, then the diagram is part of your Excel workbook. You can always choose to create a Visio file later by signing in. So here I can choose the type of diagram I want. There are currently basic flowcharts, cross-functional flowcharts and organization charts. I'm going to look at the cross-functional flowchart and we'll take a look at this horizontal layout. And it's placed some sample data in my worksheet and it's creating the link between that sample data and the diagram. Now the table structure must be retained, but you can add or remove as many rows as required. Here you can see each process step has a unique ID, a description, then the next step ID if there is one. If it has multiple potential next steps, you can add connector labels. There are lots of shapes to choose from if you look at the drop down list. And there's also some custom shapes at the end. We also have the function, which are the flowcharts row labels. And because this is a cross functional flowchart, there's also a phase. And these are the flowcharts column labels. Lastly, we have alt text for accessibility. Now, all you need to do is replace the data in the table with your own. I've got some here on the data tab. I've got the rows selected. I'm just going to control C to copy it. And then back on the demo, we're going to control V to paste it over the top. Let's bring the flow chart back up into view and I'll click refresh. It's going to grab this new data and update my flow chart accordingly. I can zoom in to get a closer look. Now, if there's an issue with the source data table, for example, let's say I accidentally deleted this process step ID and then clicked refresh. I get the data checker pop up. It tells me what row the issue's on and what the issue is. So let's go back and fix that. We need to have unique process step IDs. I'll click retry, goes and grabs the data, and now I've resolved the issue. Now, while you don't need a Visio subscription to use this add-in, if you have one, you'll also be able to make edits to your diagram in Visio. Now, the flowchart is like any other object. By hovering your mouse over the outer edge until it turns into the four-headed arrow, you can click on it, left click and drag to move it around. We can use the pull handles to resize it. We can also control X to cut and control V to paste it in, say on another worksheet. Now, if you did place it on another worksheet and you wanted to locate the source data table, we can do that via the ellipsis here and then select source table. You can see it's selected the source table behind this drawing, but if it were on another sheet, then it would take you there. Likewise, we can delete the diagrams by selecting the outer edge and pressing the delete key. Now, once you've built your flowchart, you'll want to share it. One option is to save your Excel file on OneDrive or SharePoint. Then you can easily share your diagrams via the Visio for Web interface. And we access this by clicking on the ellipsis here and then open in web. This opens the diagram in Visio for the web in your default browser. Now from the share button here, we can create a link or enter the email addresses of those that you want to share it with. All of us 365 users will be able to view the diagram in their browser. Alternatively, if you want to share both the data and the diagram, 
You can simply share the Excel workbook that contains the diagram with others by attaching it to an email. Lastly, via the ellipsis in the Visio for Web interface, you can print the diagram or create a PDF. And if there's any feedback you'd like to share with the Excel team responsible for developing this add-in, don't forget to send a smile or a frown. You can download the Excel file for this lesson, including examples of the three different types of Visio diagrams from the link here. I hope you're excited about this free add-in. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.